Coming up is a 30 minute extreme full body workout with weight. This workout was specifically designed to boost metabolism, increase fat burn, and define your body from head to toe. You'll perform eight exercises back to back for a fun yet effective total body routine. Grab a set of moderate and heavy weights and a mat. Are you ready? Let's go. All right, let's get started with the warm up. Let's bring those feet nice and wide. Two big deep breaths. Inhale, hands come up. Exhale, let it go. Again, inhale, hands up. Exhale, let it go. Let's go into a four point squat. So feet about shoulder distance apart, reach those hands up to the sky. Hinge from those hips, reach your hands towards the toes. Drop the booty down, sink nice and heavy. Hands lift and then you're gonna stand on up. Keep doing this at your own time. Now in this workout, we have eight exercises back to back, one minute each move with about a 15 second rest in between. We'll do that again for a second round. The transitions will be shorter. And then in the third round, we go 30 seconds each move back to back. Full body strength coming your way, low impact. We're gonna go into inchworms. So feet about shoulder distance, drop the chin around the spine all the way to your plank position, and then walk your hands back to your toes, roll on up one vertebrae at a time. No jumping, no cardio, no intentional cardio, but because we're gonna be going at a pretty quick pace with little to no rest, your heart rate's gonna be up. So you're gonna get that the best of both worlds. While we focus on strength, you'll also get that great calorie burn as well. Let's go one more time, all the way down to your plank position and let's hold it here. Zip up those feet together, clench your inner thighs, clench your booty together. Really press your shoulders away from your ears, pressing into the mat. Step your right foot forward into a runner's lunge, drop the hip down, reach the right hand up to the sky, find that spinal twist. Come back, hand down, foot back, switch sides. Left foot lifts forward, reach the left hand up to the sky, come back to your plank. Good, downward facing dog. Lift those hips up and start to pedal those heels right and left. Just waking up the calves, but also getting a nice stretch in your back, in your spine. Good. Now from here, both heels come down towards the floor. And then let's go into a modified plank position. So knees are down, your hips are down as well. Tuck that pelvis under. Bring your hands about mat distance apart. Drop all the way down as low as you can. And then press on up again. As you do this, elbows are slightly coming back towards the ribs to protect the shoulders. Let's go two more. We're gonna go very slow so that we feel every single muscle fiber working. And last one. And rest, good. Bring your knees in a little bit closer for an all fours position. We'll go into a bird dog reach. So extend the right foot back, left hand shoots forward. Finding your balance, press the belly button into your spine, and then go ahead and switch, other side. Now take your time with this if you find yourself a little wobbly at first. You've gotta wake up those deep inner core muscles that help us stay stable and balanced as we do our weight training. Let's go two more. And last one. Good, and from here, tuck those toes, downward facing dog, walk your hands towards your feet, roll on up and come back up to your standing position. We'll just take a few hip hinges here. So feet shoulder distance apart, elbows are back. You're gonna bring it down and up, down and up. And let's go one more because we have to quickly go into our first exercise. Let's go into an alternating snatch. So one dumbbell here, right in between the feet. You're going to bend the elbow through to bring it up to the sky, come back down, and then we'll go ahead and switch. We take off in three, two, one, let's go. So drop it down, bend it through, as if you're zipping up a jacket and zipping it back down. This is a full body exercise. We're getting your quads and your glutes in that squat position, but you're also getting the shoulders and the core as you stabilize your body. If for whatever reason, this doesn't feel good for your shoulder, you're gonna take the option of going into an upright row, elbow comes high and wide, dumbbell to the chest and back down. Now, as you bring that dumbbell down, make sure that your chest stays lifted 
and your booty is lower than your chest. What I don't wanna see is this rounded back here where your face disappears. A few more seconds. You have three, two, one, and rest. Good. Next move is a push up to a dumbbell tap. So dumbbell comes arm distance away from your arms. Go into a push up, two dumbbell taps. In three, two, one, let's go. Now make sure that that dumbbell, again, is far enough so you actually have to reach for it. Try to keep your hips stable. So instead of wiggling your hips side to side, go ahead and bring those feet nice and wide, at least mat distance apart. And that's gonna help you stabilize the hips and keep the core nice and tight. Your option, drop down to those knees. Do the same thing. Just make sure that your hips stay down so that you get into your core. If you notice that your hips are starting to droop or pike up, take that option. It's okay that you don't do this on your toes yet. You have three, two, one, and rest. All right, come on up, grab a heavy weight, hip hinge to a front squat. So dumbbell hanging at the hips, hinge, you're gonna pick it up to the chest, front squat. Time starts now. So it's like a deadlift, hinging from those hips, bring that dumbbell up to the chest, squat down nice and low. Side profile, hinge, booty coming back like you're shutting a door with your butt. Lift it up, deep bend in those knees, sink it back into that imaginary chair. So this is more of a hamstring and glute focused exercise and then quad and glute focused exercise. We're doing both at the same time. Keep those knees nice and soft. Nice and quick in your, in your rack position, you rack it up to the chest. You have three, two, one, and rest. All right, next exercise is a dumbbell swing. So you're gonna keep holding that dumbbell the way it is. You're gonna swing those hips back. Dumbbell hikes in between the inner thighs. Thrust those hips forward. We take off in three, two, one, let's go. Now, you might think my arms are doing the work, but actually, my arms are just the lever. The work, the momentum, comes from the hips. As they drive forward, it creates momentum to bring that dumbbell up overhead, or not overhead, rather, right to shoulder height. My shoulders aren't doing the work, they're just there for the ride. Now what you want to be careful of is when you're doing this hip swing, you're not pushing the hips too far forward like this. Okay, we don't want that because then you're gonna get pain in your low back. You wanna make sure that you come to a stand and you come back to that hip thrust, okay? A couple more seconds. You have three, two, and one. Rest, good. All right, moderate weights. We have some hip hinge rows, single, single, double. So hinge position, we have a row, row and double. Time starts now. Palms facing in, squeeze the safe space in between your back, in between your shoulder blades. Tuck the chin, keep the core nice and tight. Soft bend in your knees. Focusing on your back and your biceps. Chest stays open, posture nice and tall.
You got it. 10 seconds. You have three, two, one, and rest. Good, next exercise. We're gonna go into a static lunge pulse. So right foot back, you're gonna lunge, pulse it out, 30 seconds on one side, and then we switch. Here we go. Get into position, three, two, one, let's go. So you're just going up and down, one inch up, one inch down, shoulders stacked on top of your hips, Create that 90 degree angle in both legs. Your weight is heavy in your heel in the front foot, not the toe. Heel is grounded. We switch in three, two, one, switch. You can also do this body weight. Most of these exercises, you can do body weight or just grab lighter weights. Now make sure your feet are on two different railroad tracks. They're not on a tight rope. 10 seconds. Whew. You have three, two, one, and rest. Whew. Okay, we're gonna head down, inchworm to a knee tuck. So walk to your plank. Tuck in the knees, back to the chest, and stand up. Three, two, one, let's go. <laughs> and that's a little slippery. Gotta make sure that it's stable. If you need an option for this one, you're gonna go in one leg at a time, come back to your plank, stand back up. Find that crunch in your tuck. We're getting upper body, shoulders, core. Keep on breathing. You got this, you're almost there. You have three, two, one, and rest. All right, last move is gonna be on your back. We're gonna go into oblique crunches with your legs up. Right here, trying to bring your hand to the knife edge of your foot. Three, two, one, let's go. Reach, reach. Now I got short legs. <laughs> if you can't touch your toes, that's okay. You can touch the outside of your shin. The goal is to get your shoulder blades off the floor. Find that rotation in your abs. Try to keep those legs straight. Lift up, lift up. Almost there, a few more seconds. You got about 10. You have three, two, one, and rest. Good, hug those knees in. You have a one minute break. So go ahead, grab a quick sip of water, towel down, and use this opportunity to adjust your weights. Now that you know the exercises, we're gonna repeat these again for two more rounds. So if there was any move where you're like, I don't really feel the challenge, take it as a sign you can probably go a little bit heavier, right? And if you did find the challenge and you weren't able to complete the entire minute with good form, take it as a sign that you might need to go down in weight. So always listen to your body, make sure that you choose your weights appropriate for your fitness level. But also, good reminder to not continue to use the same weights over and over again, because that's how we see no change in the body if we keep doing the same thing. Alternating snatch in three, two, one, let's go. 
So our transitions are gonna be a little bit shorter. Instead of 15 seconds, you have 10. Round one was your practice. Round two, this is where you really wanna perform, really get great form. Don't make this a good workout, make it a great workout. Connect to every single muscle that's working. You should really straighten out that arm at the top, bicep right next to the ear. Ten seconds. Three, two, one, rest. We're gonna go into your dumbbell, push up, two taps. Arm distance away. Three, two, one, let's go. Your goal is to get your best fist distance away from the floor. Your hands are about shoulder distance or a little bit wider than shoulder distance. Listen to your body. If your form is starting to break, go to the option where you're on your knees. That is totally okay. Push-ups are hard. Requires a lot of different muscles. Do the best that you can. You got it. Three, two, one, and rest. Whew. Okay, we're gonna go into your hip hinge to your front squat. Here we go. Three, two, one, let's go. Hip hinge, rack it up, squat. Again, leading with the booty. Hips back, 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 back. Feel the stretch in the back of the legs. And then drop that booty to your heels. If you can kind of see how I'm holding the dumbbell like this, it's in between my palms. Holding it almost like a cauldron. Right there. Hands come underneath the head of the dumbbell. You have three, two, one, rest. Good. We're gonna go into your hip hinge swing. Bring it in like a football, hike it forward. Three, two, one, let's go. Keep a firm grip on the dumbbell, make sure it doesn't swing out of your hands. This is an advanced move. You can go a little bit lighter just to get used to it. And the better the form gets, the more you'll feel this in your glutes. Keep that chest open. No rounding. Ten seconds. Three, two, one, rest. Whew. Single, single, double rows. Grab your moderate weights. Here we go, three, two, one, let's go. Focus on your upper back right here. Row towards the hip rather than the armpit. 
Keep those shoulders down away from the ears. Turn on your glutes. Keep your core on as well. 15. You got it. Three, two, one, rest. All right, dumbbell lunge pulses. Ooh, almost there. Is the sweat dripping yet? Three, two, one, let's go. 30 seconds on one side, and then we switch. Maybe try to go one inch lower than last time. Sometimes it's like these smaller moves that like burn the most, right? Here we go, we switch in three, two, one, switch. Keep that core in, chest up, eyes looking forward, not at the floor. Woo. Oh yeah, this is where the sweat starts to pour. Almost there. You have three, two, one, rest. Inchworm to your knee tuck. You're doing great. Three, two, one, let's go. Go at whatever pace works for you. If you need to take your time with this and just get your heart rate down, you can do that. Coming up on 15. You have three, two, one, and rest. And your final move for one minute break is your oblique crunches. Here we go, three, two, one, let's go. Really lift. Reach a half a centimeter higher. Just a little bit more. You're almost there. Don't give up just yet. You get that one minute break. Let's work for it. You got 10 seconds. Three, two, one, and rest. Nice job. All right, one minute break. You earned it. Whew. All right, standing up whenever you're ready. We have one more round and it's gonna be our finisher round where we do 30 seconds each exercise. You'll get 10 seconds in between as a small little transition period. But for the most part, we're just gonna move through this nice and fast. So clean up your space, adjust your weights. We're gonna be starting with your alternating snatch. Hey, awesome job. These are not easy exercises for sure. These are advanced moves. So if you're keeping up with this, it's pretty good. It's pretty good. And I promise you, you're just gonna get better. You're gonna get better. You might feel a little weird 
especially doing this alternating snatch move. It took me a while to figure out how to do it. Three, two, one, let's go. Make sure you have a lot of compassion and grace. Okay, you can't compare your level zero to someone else's level 10. Use the hips, thrust forward. You're looking good. Three, two, one, rest. Coming up, push up, dumbbell tap. 30 seconds. Here we go. Three, two, one. Let's go. Almost there. You have three, two, one, rest. Stand on up, hip hinge to your front squat. One dumbbell, three, two, one, let's go. Even though we're going a little bit faster, slow it down if you need to, to keep your form right. You're not doing anyone favors by going fast and being sloppy. Three, two, one, rest. Good, get ready, dumbbell swings. Here we go, three, two, one, let's go. I get. Squeeze your butt at the top. You have three, two, one, rest. Good. Single, single, double on your hip hinge rows. Here we go. Three, two, one, let's go. Control your breath. Almost there. Three, two, one, rest. Dumbbell, lunge pulses. We're gonna go 15 seconds one with side, and then we switch. Three, two, one, let's go. Lowest lunges you got. This is it, final round. You got it, you got it. Three, two, one, and switch. Ooh, don't we love this last round. <laughs> You have three, two, one, rest. Good. Drop those weights. Inchworm to your knee tuck. Here we go. Three, two, one, let's go. Finish what you started. It ain't easy, but you get stronger and you get better because of it. 10 seconds. Three, two, one, rest. All right, final exercise. You're gonna go into your oblique reaches and you are officially done. Here we go. Three, two, one, let's go.
Lift, lift. 10 seconds. Three, two, one, and rest. Oh my goodness. Hug those knees in. Roll on up whenever you're ready. You did absolutely amazing. How are we feeling? 30 minutes, total body strength, and you're done. Let me know what your favorite move was in the comments, and just let me know how you feel. I always love hearing your feedback. And if you want more workouts from me and don't wanna miss a beat, make sure to subscribe to my channel so that you get notified every single time I post a new workout. If you are crazy and wanna double up, check out this workout here, it is a good one. And as always, claim your crown.